guys man i am in shock i am completely deflated i don't know what to say you one day has been dumped from the island and you know what she predicted this all along let's not get it twisted she had you know a woman's intuition can never be denied she said from the start you know she this is why she protected tried to protect her heart didn't want to be show too much emotion and we're all at home you know literally screaming at the tv you one day be more emotional you know show your man some care and attention bull crap she knew from the start you know what she's experiencing danny she knew that his head would be turned she was always saying it she was always concerned about it but man i cannot believe he actually dumped her from the island i cannot believe that i mean she's one of the main characters a beloved character and he ended her love island experience i mean he didn't even think maybe you know maybe she'll be able to find someone new or you know i understand it it's a love competition it is indeed a competition and he found he found that in arabella although i i, I just don't see the compa- compatibility with arabella i find her to be quite domineering um and quite possessive in a way when it comes to him i know she was like i want him to decide on his own but before she was like yeah i want you to you know, tell um, you one day that it's over, you know, I want you to decide, tell me what you think. She was quite, you know, a bit domineering in my view. So I don't see how they're going to work. Well, good luck to them now, because child, you know, that was just, it was messed up. It was absolutely messed up. I'm just still in shock. And you know what? I don't know. This is going to sound a bit controversial, but you know what? This is a bit deja vu from last year. But um, the story of a black chick, is Love Island really a competition that a black girl should enter? Despite how beautiful or intelligent she is, is it really a show that she should enter? Maybe if this show was held in America, where there is a bit more diversity in, in terms of, well, I would consider there to be a bit more diversity. I don't know. Maybe the same problem have happened there. I don't know. Guys, comment below. What do you think if this show was pitched in America? Do you think black girls should enter the competition? Is there an equal balance? I don't know, but I just, I don't know whether there should be further sisters going into such a competition. Um, I'm just still in shock, guys. I'm really, I'm just so disappointed. I, and you know what? Danny is a bit of a fibber. He did say, I recall in yesterday night's um, show, he did say to the guys, oh, you know, about being presently surprised at you one day, bull. Um, and that he wanted to, um, you know, in a perfect world, he wants to pick Arabella. So hopefully he can go back to you one day. I was like, you know what? This guy is full of crap. And you know what? He's just 21. So he's just showing his age. You know, he's immature. He's just showing his age. He doesn't know what he wants. As you one day rightly said, doesn't know what he wants. He's only 21. And guys, I'm sorry. Men don't mature. <laughs> they mature at a very late, later stage. Okay. So I don't know how he and, um, although albeit he does sound mature at times, very mature for a 21 year old, but at the end of the day, he's just a 21 year old, which is literally a baby. And I don't see how he and Arabella are going to make it because as I say, you see that she's 28, you know, she's very, she's young herself, but she's very, she's quite a worldly woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, she's nothing on, <laughs> she's nothing on you one day. Let's not get that twisted, okay? This person, this Dolph Lundgren, I found her to be quite condescending and very rude and a bit petty, quite petty to you one day. And one day just held her grace. She really did. Um, but I just felt that she just completely wasted her time in this show. She really did. Honestly, when the show first started, when I saw the contestants, when I saw this black chick call you one day and that she's a scientist, I was like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing on this show? This is not the work, this is not the business for you, you know? I was concerned that it was going to end in tears and lo and behold, it's ended in tears. It's ended in tears. I was, in my last video, I was saying, you know what, she should just relinquish this couple in because he's already gone. This is already over. If he comes back, he comes back. But for me, it was already a done deal, mate. I mean, he was already gone. As I said before, my... Um, I believe my second video of the Love Island um, commentary um, that if you know if Maura had shown Danny more attention on her date 
he would have pursued her, but she was distracted by the girls, you know, hollering down and acting a fool and disrupting their dates. But if she'd given Danny the time of day, he would have pursued her and his head would have been turned at that point. So the the one day was quite right. And um, everyone being sceptical of Danny, hey, you were right. I mean, my view was just, as I say, I was team you one day, then team Danny, then back to Team you one day after the clash with um, Dolph Lundgren the other night. <laughs> no, I shouldn't call it that, but right now I'm just pissed. So, sorry, guys. I'm just upset and I just don't know how I'm going to continue with this show now you one day has been dumped on the island. Um, just quickly, I want to touch on Mora. I, lo- I really, I won't say I love, I really like Mora. I'm happy that she stood up for herself, but I felt... You know, she was, you know, doing too much. You know, you told the guy off once, you don't need to go on and on and on screaming at him. I mean, it's literally, okay, when did he hit her for her to be reacting like this? I mean, girlfriend, cause and effect. You put out, you should expect to receive a little. If you want to convey yourself in a very, as a a sexual tease type of chick, what do you expect? People form perceptions, you know? Um, And clearly everyone's misconstrued you yes women should be uh, you know you know women's right to speak about sex all day and night i get you but don't be so surprised that people form opinions because it's just human nature it's what people do and sadly he did make a very derogative comment um, unnecessary comment um but he did apologize over and over and over again (laughs) and i thought it was kind of funny when she made him work for that apology you know i thought that was funny but I just felt that she did too much. She got way too angry and happy that she calmed down. And when he was coming back to apologize again and again, I was like, guys, don't leave her alone. Leave her alone unless you don't want her to blow up, blow up against you again. I was like, leave her alone. Um, but I'm happy they sort of things out. But I would just say that she should be mindful of the things that she says. Because she did say to Anton the other night, oh, if me and you were out of this house, we would have effed a long time ago. I was like, girl. And then you react angrily to Tom and the rest of the guys who perceive you in a certain way. Child, just stop acting thirsty. Stop acting overly thirsty, mate. You know, she looks at men the way I look at food. <laughs> Man, I just, I just hope she rolls her neck in and just, you know, she clearly is not that kind of sex chick. She's, you know, quite a strong woman and, um, you know, a no-nonsense woman. And I like that side of Mora. And I just hope she just conveys more of that because being talking about sex all day and night is quite off-putting otherwise I'm sure Tommy would have picked her other than Molly May but you know so I hope she takes well I hope she this is a lesson learned I guess it's a lesson learned and we live and learn and that's just the way the purpose of life well not the purpose of life that's just the way of life we live and learn um but guys man I mean this whole this whole episode I'm just still in shock Oh, this whole your one day situation has left me just deflated, completely and utterly deflated, guys. So, guys, comment below. What do you think? Should uh, black girls apply for Love Island 2020? Um, what do you think about Danny and um, his coupling? I, I'm just in such shock, guys. Seriously. I don't know what to say. But... Oh. And Amber, wow. Amber's going to serve us some seasoning tomorrow. Oh, child. That's one dominant chick. She's going to serve us tomorrow. She's going to get Danny and Arabella. And wow. Because Amber's no nonsense chick. You know, she's no nonsense chick. And she is ready for war. You can tell. That last scene, what? You just dumped my best friend? No, 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 no. That's not going to go unpunished. (laughs) But when it comes to Amber, she is ready, okay? She is ready. Anyway, guys, please comment below. What do you think about this last episode? If you're in America, hopefully you're watching Love Island UK 2019. This show already, we're only in week two. And it is already fire, shock and awe and disappointment. Please comment below. And I'll see you down in the comment section, guys. And please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my commentary. I know I'm not on camera. It's just that child i worked during the week and i really should be asleep (laughs) i will get my ass back on camera again because child i can see fireworks and i need to give a full and thorough commentary soon anyway guys once again wish you a pleasant evening please comment below i'd love to hear your thoughts on this crazy disastrous situation ciao for now guys bye